Lauren! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my cooking chan! <laughs> so today I'm going to be cooking because there's a lot of drama going on right now and I think it would be best for us to just bake a cake. De-stress, decompress. Yeah, Lauren! I also did want to address a video I did post a couple days ago, my James Charles video where I just pretended like he uh, DM'd me and I just ranted about him. I do regret posting it um, because I've just come to the realization that it doesn't matter. None of it matters. Does this seem uncalled for? I just gotta get this off my chest. There's a lot of you guys that are new to my channel because of that video and I'm very thankful for it. I just regret posting it. Um, it's just cringy to me. You know, there are much more respectable, respectable me trying to talk. There are much more respectable ways to get people to click on my videos. And I'm saying this because there are much bigger issues in the world right now that we need to be focusing on and worrying about. What helped me realize this was Nikki Tutorials, her recent video. It was dedicated to her um, brother who passed away due to cancer and she dedicated that video to him. That kind of just reminded me what YouTube is about. It's a place to raise awareness. It's a place to have fun. It's not a place, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna continue to spill tea and such, but just not in that manner anymore. I don't even really know what I'm trying to say. I want to create these videos that inspire people and that shine light. And I feel like that video just doesn't, it just doesn't really help anybody. You know what I mean? So it's just up to us to focus on stuff that matters and I'm sorry for like contributing to that, I guess. I don't know. So I thought today we could just... Bake a cake, okay? Bake a cake! Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. And also I wanted to bake a cake because last year, which is so crazy to say that, last year, um, I made a channel on my video. I made a channel on my video where I baked a cake. I think I tried to bake a cake. It was called Baking With My Anxiety. And during that time last year, I just moved out. I was 18 and I was severely struggling with anxiety and I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. And now that I am 19, I've been living on my own, not too long, but for almost a year now, I do feel like I've come into, you know, my person and I'm really developing now. So no tea for today, unfortunately. Anyways, let's get to baking. So today on my get baking, we're going to bake a chocolate classic cake. This cake is from Whole Foods, so if you're broke, go ahead. Um, and leave. Just kidding. This was two dollars. <laughs> this actually isn't olive oil. This is actually oil I've been cultivating from my face over the past two weeks. Girl, she nasty! Water. This is simple. This is simple. <laughs> Water. And then... Whoa, eggs. Two eggs. Bowl. Bowl. Oh my god! Oh, this bowl's a little bit dirty. No. Put the oven. Y'all already know. 350. <laughs> this is gonna have to bake for 30 minutes? <laughs> my brain. My brain, my brain, my brain. Let's just start by opening the package. I'm going to recycle this, don't worry. It actually is going to be recycled. I don't know why I threw it. So we're gonna pour. Y'all already know. I really want this to go well. So, I'm gonna try. Mm. Got that out of the way. Water. Oh my gosh, how much? Hold on, let me go get the box. Two thirds of a cup. Two third cup. You know. Did y'all take that class in middle school that taught you how to do stuff like this? We literally. We literally learned how to toast bread in the oven, and I still couldn't even know. There we go. How much oil? One third cup of oil. That's a lot of oil. This is also a tutorial, so if you are a beta male as well and want to follow along, or even a beta female, feel free to follow along. Oh my god, we even got a whisk! Wait, oh no, the eggs. April 19th. It's May, it's May the 21st. These expired a month ago. Well over a month ago. 
these eggs get, got chlamydia. This one's got chlamydia. Oh my God. Girl, if I would have just left these in there for a bit longer, I could have had, you know, a little chicken on my hands. I think I'm just going to put these back in the fridge, let the eggs hatch. I actually want to open one. Let's open the nasty one. A chicken actually pops out. I'm just gonna hold this just in case a chicken actually pops out. Is it gonna explode? Oh my gosh, welcome to my science class. Okay, so it, it just looks like an egg. Okay, I gotta throw these away. We're gonna have to find out how to sub what to substitute. What substitutes for an egg? The oven's hot. Huh? Bacon powder? Unsweetened applesauce. If I don't have eggs, I'm not gonna have unsweetened applesauce. I had applesauce and I threw it away the other day. Guys, honestly, I'm still trying to learn how to be an adult, so just bear with me. I just love throwing things away, so what about butter? What if I just put, like, butter in it? Okay, it's it looks fine. It looks fine. You know, I really want this to come out good because, you know, I'm trying to feed the family and I'm being serious when I say that. <laughs> Life as a beta male sucks. Like, if only I had an alpha here. Ew. God, okay, I actually can't. I might actually, I might actually be, I, I, I'm a crackhead, but I'm seriously such a beta male, like I can't even mix up a cake without getting tired. Okay, sis is mixed. Will she handle the heat? Will she handle? In this video, I'm just really exposing myself for being unprepared and nasty. This pan looks nasty, but I swear I washed this thing and... Oh my god, no, I did not wash this thing. I'm not trying to lie right now. I, I thought I washed it, guys. I'm trying to be an adult. I'm trying, I just can't keep up. I'm clocking all the hoes for being nasty, smelling bad, and look at me. I just... Oh! I almost just dropped this pan. Thank God I did it. My sister tells me, she says, Luke, hand wash the pots and pans. And I tell her no every time. The other day I microwaved meatballs <laughs> and the bowl cracked. They were my grandma's old bowls. It actually makes me look like an asshole. They just, I thought they were microwave safe. I love being an asshole. I love cooking. I love baking. I just hate cleaning. I actually really love cooking. I don't really like baking. I love baking. And when I say cook, I mean, I usually just like fry up rice and that like makes me feel good. Even though I'm 19 and I am a grown adult, I am a grown man, cut me some slack. I'm gonna cut myself some slack, okay? Because things were hard growing up, okay? Things were traumatic, so I'm a little bit behind, but we're getting there. Um, some of you guys commented that my voice gives you guys headaches and I, I'm sorry, so my next giveaway will be Advil, so. Maybe, I don't know. Am I really just having a conversation in my head like that? Yes. Let me move everything, I'd be a mess. Ooh, satisfying. Yummy. It's hot stick. I guess since I didn't add the eggs, it's very thick. Perfect. Okay, let's throw this big big bad puppy in the oven. We'll keep her in there for 28 minutes. Intuitive cooking. Oh, here's the box. Okay, we're just gonna put it in there for 28 minutes. Do I got chocolate all over my face? I look like a crackhead. On brand. I can't believe being a crackhead is literally on brand for me. Mom, I hope you're proud. So now that I've been living, you know, on my own for a hot minute, I just don't get to treat myself as often. I've never had my Avril Lavigne moment, but I did this morning. And let me just say, I've been sleeping on her and I'm so sorry. So what do I do now? Just stand here. When I'm cooking, when I'm baking, I just want to like get in my feels for some reason. Well, this is just reminding me when I filmed that video, it was called like baking with my anxiety or something. You know, it's kind of crazy to just be doing it again at this time, you know, enjoying it and having fun. I don't know why I'm feeling so emo right now. A lot of y'all comment that I give y'all headaches. Some of y'all comment that I remind you of Fred Figglehorn. And let me just tell you, it doesn't feel good when people think you're Fred Figglehorn. I'm not Fred Figglehorn. My, I'm just trying to pop my neck. Let's just bake this cake and get along. I can't believe I'm saying get along. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's looking crispy. The butter. Also, sorry if my fridge is being loud. It's just, she's just congested right now. On my knees, begging please stay with me. The reason I'm a 
jacket is because I'm always alone. It really is a problem. Am I just confessing that I isolate myself? <sighs> yes, I do isolate myself and I do run from my problems. All of that changes today because that's what this cake represents. New beginnings. I hate this. I hate this. Stuff like that just gives me so much anxiety, but it's good to have. <laughs> I'm really out here trying to be a housewife. What should we name the cake? Angela? Angela! I'm overreacting, but why does Andrea look so busted? What's wrong with Andrea? Wait, Andrea? Angela! Oh my god. But I will say one perk of having your own place is you know where everything is. Dad, where's this? Mom, where's that? Now? Somebody asks for something, I'm like, top drawer on the left, sweetie. I even know where your things are, because I'm Snoopy. All my life I've been good. And now, I need to stop singing this song. That's just what's been in my head recently. Ooh. Oh my god, I didn't grease the pan. This is simple. <laughs> this is so simple. I'm so sorry, Angela. Now her ass gonna be all stuck to the pan <laughs> whatever I mean I guess I'll just have to like roll with the punches and not run away from this one I know I'm out here trying to be an adult but it was just on 420 and the camera shut off <laughs> dang it three two oh my god one we're gonna let Angela cool for a moment she is burning up I've let it cool for a hot minute now. I guess a cold minute because it's not hot anymore. Oh no! It literally be hard as a rock. This cake is supposed to represent peace, no beginnings, but it's just like not working out. Let me get my spatula. Okay, wow, I really should have greased it. I really can't. Oh my god. There's not even any clean plates. I suck at being an adult. I got this plate, got it out of the dishwasher. I think this shall be enough. <laughs> I guess we can go to my room and have a little mukbang moment. So before we take a bite of beautiful Angela, I want to make a toast. This cake represents peace among the YouTube community. Everybody just take a little chill pill. And I want to say sorry for contributing to that petty drama. Honestly, all I can say is it's easy content and I'm sorry. Toast or whatever. So let's get started. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just a little bit dry and it doesn't look like a cake. It looks like a brownie. Wait, in what circumstance do you eat cake without icing? So hopefully as a, as a YouTube community, hopefully we can learn from our mistakes and just not do that again. It's not the best cake I've ever had, but in what case is cake bad? I've never had a bad cake. I mean, even like carrot cake, it still slaps. Except when you eat cake and it don't have any sugar in it. Because one time when I was younger, my mom was going through it. And so she was like eating paleo. And I don't think you eat sugar when you're paleo, or I don't know. And they made these brownies, and it had no sugar in it. And I was expecting to eat a brownie, and when I bit into it, it tasted like a chunk of ass. And now at this point, I'm just eating it with my hands, because I have no manners. And I don't got time to be scooping it. This cake that I baked, that rhyme, cake, bake, wait, that I went on to eat, is my offering. <sighs> Let's chill it out, dogs. I love you guys so much. I really do. I'm very thankful for you. Make sure to comment down below your worst cake story. Share this video with your friends if you have any. Bye!